Okay, welcome back everyone. So this is just another solved example of how to add vectors using components. So let's say that we have one vector, which is vector A, and let's say that vector A is 15 meters at 32 degrees. So this base angle is 32 degrees. And let's say that vector B is another vector that's 20 meters at 50 degrees. Okay, so the question is, what is vector C, which is what we get from adding vectors A plus B? So the instinct is to say 35, 15 plus 20, but we know that that's not really how we add vectors. And as review, what I can do is take vector B move it so that its tail touches the head of vector A and I can draw in a resultant and that will be my vector C. So just as a reminder vector A is this guy here. Okay, but we don't have any information about exactly what the magnitude is so instead what we have to do is find components and like previously, we write the vectors, so there's A and B, and they have an X and a Y component. And so we have, uh, I'll just write it in the box, that the X component of vector A, which is right here, is going to be basically 15 cosine of 32. and that's going to give us about 12.7 and the y component is going to go right here and that's going to be 15 sine of 32 or about 7.9 vector b has the same thing going on except 50 degrees is the angle so the vector itself is 20, so B in the x-direction is 20 cosine of 50 degrees. And that's about 12.9 if you round a bit. And then the y component is 20 sine of 50 degrees. And that's going to be about 15.3. Okay, so we've broken our vectors into components and then we simply add up all the x and y components so in the x direction we're talking about 25.6 and that's a positive number and in the y direction we're talking about 23.2 meters also in the positive direction remember these are what we call the subtotals and now we construct a new right triangle with these subtotals and we could even call this x total and y total or we could call it rx and ry for the resultant so rx is 25.6 and ry is almost as much 23.2 okay so then we do some right triangle math we find the hypotenuse, and that's going to be our resultant, which in this case is C. So maybe we should call this CX and CY, because that's what we want when we add A and B. And so we do our result, 23.2 squared and 25.6 squared. I'm not going to show the math for the Pythagorean theorem, but what we get is that the hypotenuse is about 34.5 and this is meters and then we want to find the angle so again the tangent of the angle is y over x or 23.2 over 25.6 so that means that the angle is the inverse tangent so we do that real quick
and that gets us about 42.2 degrees. So that's 42.2 degrees, and that is our final answer for the vector C. So that's one example of how to add vectors using components.